Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be an energy check-in reading. Let me make sure. Okay, so we're gonna do an energy check-in reading. Um, <clears throat> it's gonna go pretty much the same as the previous ones. So I'm just gonna pull multiple cards from different decks. Sorry, I just need to ugh, get out my, my major arcana deck. Um, and then we're just gonna see what comes through for you, my love. So let me just quiet down, tune in. Get a crystal out. Speak inner truth. That's what I just heard. And then the death card just fell out. Speak inner truth. They're also showing me cleaning. Like they're showing me the image of a dustpan and a broom. So I feel like that's, you know, cleaning out old stagnant energies. It could also be cleaning out stagnant people in your life. Um, but with, but because the death card popped out for you, um, it's okay. Now they're showing me a snake shedding skin. So to me, it's like, it's like you're in the, in the midst of, uh, like a, another transformation. <laughs> um, and it doesn't have to be this like major cra crazy transformation, but it can be just another step in shedding a la another layer of yourself. Okay. Um, when you're shedding layers of yourself and you're expanding, there's the need to cleanse and to clean out. Um, it, it's almost like they're showing me the early spring cleaning energy. <laughs> um, and I don't know if that's like something that you've been wanting to do more of, but they're, they're showing me that. They're also showing me like the, sh the snake shedding its skin. Um, it's a renewal. But the speak your purpose, speak your truth. That's what they were saying um, for you. So I'm utilizing the throat chakra for that. Um, that's going to be what's popping up for you. Um, as far as the chakras go, the throat chakra 100% is in need of lots of attention right now because this is your energy check-in. We have Page of Swords. We have two of, of uh, Wands. We have Four of Swords. We have the Moon. And we have Strength. And we also have the Three of Wands. A beautiful. Definitely looking to expand. Looking to expand to see what else is out there. Um, I feel like with that Page of Swords, she's all about... We have Stone People Vigilance just popped up for you too. She's all about um, standing your ground, speaking your truth, standing your ground, saying what's on your mind. Um, and there's a lot of it on your mind right now. The two of wands coming up at the core of your reading is telling me that you're looking to expand, okay? Looking to expand to see what else is out there. Um, is the grass greener on the other side kind of thing? Maybe you're looking for um, relocating of some sort or maybe you're looking to taking a little vacation or even something mini like a, a, a little weekend getaway. Um, and you're looking to see what else is out there. Maybe you're looking to expand your social life, your you know your friendship circles, your interests, taking on a new a new course of study. Um, something is is wanting to expand within you with that two of wands, and this is also the the need to not be afraid and to step outside of your boundaries. As the two of wands is is standing safely behind their home or their boundary place right here. But they're needing to step outside of that in order to expand and see what else is out there. Um, and then the Four of Swords popping up for you is a, a lot of patience and contemplation time in that process. So you're being guided to utilize the power of meditation, um, the power of quieting your soul um, to seek your answers. Okay, So um, if you're looking for an answer at the moment... Um, your, your guides are pretty much saying like you need to be in a meditative state more often um, to, re to really receive that message. I'm also going to pull a crystal card for you because I really like these this deck and I think 
have been working really well with these energy check-in readings. But for some reason, I felt called to pull more tarot for you. Um, I like to do the pyramid kind of a thing, so I'll get more into that. Everything is just done intuitively. <laughs> All right, and we have Rotocrosite. Be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. Be gentle with yourself. So that energy of, you know, um, self-love, taking care of self, taking care of you when you need it um, is also popping up too. That's also a really vulnerable moment when you're going through like that shake, that shake, that snake shedding its skin kind of a phase. You're in a vulnerable state when you're doing that. Um, when you're going through any kind of shift, any kind of tr change or transformation, it's very vulnerable for us to, to be in that place because we are literally like, we, we need that time to kind of cocoon and, and go inward. So same thing with that four of swords, to take time to contemplate, to take time to rethink, reconsider. Um, you know, it's, it's a very patient process. And so I feel like with that death card, it, it is all about that. It is all about giving yourself that time, that space, being gentle with yourself through this process of change. Um, we change to evolve. We change to grow and expand. And I feel like that's what you want and that's what you're looking for. Um, and if it hasn't already started to happen, it will be happening. Um, Vigilance is asking you to stay firm. Same thing with that Page of Swords. Vigilance and Page of Swords to me feel like they go hand in hand. Stay firm with your truth. Stay firm with your words, um, especially because as, as I was shuffling, I heard spirit say, um, speaking your truth, like the, that phrase that I, that I said the first thing, when, in the first part of your reading, please rewind the video <laughs> to get that last, that message. Um, but it's like speaking your truth, speaking your, um, your purpose. And I feel like you're the, utilizing your throat chakra, your voice, um, is what's powerful at this time for you. So making sure that you're taking care of that throat chakra energy. Um, if you're into the chakras and whatnot, you know, then you'll know you'll be more familiar with it. Um, but if you're not throat chakra is located, obviously in your throat, it is an energy center point that empowers your ability to speak your truth to express yourself, um, to communicate with others. Um, and, and it's also just a way, it's an outlet to release. So I feel like with you, um, you know, if you're into the crystals and whatnot, um, any blue crystal would be a good thing. Um, lapis lazuli is good. Even um, labradorite would be good. Um, you can get, you know, the blue lace agate. Those are really good for throat chakras. Um, but anything blue, you could associate with the blue because the throat is associated with the color blue. Um, or just like a clear quartz. Clear quartz is really good for anything. Um, and when you're meditating, especially when you're doing that cord cutting, like I was saying, that release, that shedding meditation, um, you, you could place that crystal over your throat to enhance that that sensation okay um also rhodochrosite is a really good crystal it's a pinkish one i believe if i'm not mistaken um but i'm not really too familiar with rhodochrosite i don't i don't think i own one at the moment um but if you want to you know utilize the crystal that came forward in your reading rhodochrosite is the one <laughs> um it's a mouthful to say that's for sure um, so you could use that one as well. Um, any crystal you could set the intention for. It doesn't have to be a blue crystal. You know what I mean? Now with the tarot reading with what I'm seeing, I did a pyramid layout here. And at the very bottom of that pyramid, I pulled the three of wands for you. So this is, again, it's it's similar to the core of your reading, which is the two of wands, looking elsewhere, stepping outside of your boundary points. Three of wands is the desire to see what else is out there. You want to expand your horizons, okay? And I feel like what all of this is like stemming down to, what you are balanced and firm about, is expanding your horizons to expand your knowledge, to expand your interests, okay? This could also be within people, the relationships that you have in your life. <clears throat> seeing what else is out there. How can you expand your community? How can you expand your outreach with, with the, the readings that you do for people or the, you know, the services that you provide for your clients? Um, really looking to expand. And I feel like that's what's going to be taking place. I also feel like fall is going to be a very significant month for you 
if you utilize these these exercises to do that. Um, I also feel like with the moon card popping up, the upcoming full moon, which will be in about a week and a half or so, um, I feel the upcoming full moon will be a really good time for you to set those intentions of shedding. And so if you haven't already been seeing that death card process happening in your life, I really feel like by that full moon, you're really going to start feeling it. Um, it's nothing to worry about. It's nothing to be afraid of, but I do feel like it's necessary. Moon card comes side by side the strength, um, which just tells me that this is going to be a very powerful transition for you. Um, and you're going to be even more stronger than you already are. I also feel like this is a support system. So there's a, there is a guide around you that is going to be supporting you through this shifting process. Okay. So if you are looking to expanding, if you are looking to growing outside of what you've already been doing, if this is a process of relocation, moving, a process of setting up a vacation, some kind of travel, some kind of long distance, something, there's just something where you need to set your feet on uncharted territory. It could be physical or it could be literally a spiritual, okay? But there is a need to expand. It's almost like you're outgrowing. And <laughs> Spirit showing me a shell of a turtle. You're, it's like you're outgrowing your shell, needing to, and turtles don't really change their shells. <laughs> So I don't know why Spirit's showing me the turtle. Maybe because turtles are known for patience, like they're slow. But it's like, I feel like what they're saying is that you're outgrowing the shell that you are in. Your body, your, your mindset, your belief systems, and your practice. And you're ready to expand. Um, so that's a beautiful thing. Because with expansion comes change. And with change comes growth. <laughs> So I feel like it's all coming together. Um, within three months time, I also feel, because that is a three card. So like I said, I feel fall is it for you. Um, three months from now, we will be in August, September, October. And October is prime um, fall season. So I do feel like October is going to be a very magical month for you. Um, it is for a lot of us as readers. Um, but I feel like for you, you're really going to be feeling it. Um, if you have ideas for services you want to offer in October, now is the time to start manifesting it, um, especially on those moons. Um, but I feel like October is going to be a time when you really kind of see your layers come together. <laughs> all of that shedding, all of that change, all of that vigilance and the practices that you want to have, I feel like you're going to really start seeing that shift. Let's look at the fear card that I pulled for you. So the fear card or the shadow card came up. Um, it's the card at the bottom of the deck. So it is the emperor for you. Um, emperor energy is very masculine energy. Okay. So, uh, you know, this could be a challenge for you to associate more with your masculine energy, that portion, that side of us, of you. Um, we all have the masculine. We all have the feminine. Sometimes we favor one over the other. Okay, so for me, the last few months um, embracing my masculine was very, very much part of my my growth, my journey right now. Um, and so I feel like perhaps with you, it, it is going to be a role that you will be needing to fulfill more and more. Um, this could also in, um, represent a person in your life who is very masculine or who is of that essence of emperor energy. They're leaders. They are authority figures. They are um, stability. They're, st they're structured people. Okay. Um, or it could be like an Aries because this is the Aries card. So it could be an Aries in your life. I mean, the emperor can display certain somebody in your life or it could display the energy within yourself that you um, may be needing to tap more into. With the change that comes through with your process, I feel that masculinity, that authority, that structure is going to be more um, involved in your life. Okay, but right now he's coming up as kind of like a shadow figure, <laughs> a shadow, like a, a the, the essence of the shadow or the essence of fear, because it's not something that you usually tap into on the everyday. Okay, this could also be divine. So this could be God energy as well, maybe tapping more into that and, and embracing more of a closer relationship with, with God energy. So, you know, you could totally see the emperor as that. I know for me, with my path, I have definitely been embracing more God energy into my life. 
um, whereas before I was not comfortable with it. <laughs> so we could see that too. Um, but I feel like there's just a lot of really good things about to happen or that will be happening to you, my love. Um, I feel like there's a lot of really good energy that's coming around you. I feel like you need to utilize that full moon energy for sure. Um, any moon energy, but definitely the upcoming full moon is the one that's really sticking out to me with this card. Um, let me see if there's anything else I want to say. Because we're talking a lot about like the path, the process of, you know, stepping outside of your boundaries, seeing what else is out there. The moon card also reveals a path that is hidden. Okay. So sometimes, and it's in our subconscious as well, but sometimes we are not meant to see the end result. So you can pull cards and you can wonder as much as you want what it is that you need to step outside of your boundaries and what is it that you're going to discover. Um, but sometimes it's not meant for us to see the end result. So that's part of the journey. So I also feel like I need to say that too. Um, if there is a spirit guide around that you've been wanting to connect with more, I feel like you can do that. You can achieve that with your meditation process. Um, but like I said, October, I feel, is going to be a prime month for you. This shift and change, this transition that you're going to be going through, um, I feel like it is going to invite this new spirit guide into your realm. It could be a guide that's already around you, a familiar, but I feel like you're going to be associating with that guide more often and more stronger as you're going through this change. So really beautiful reading, my love. I think you have a lot of amazing... Um, a lot of amazing things to look forward to, a lot of change, a lot of shift, um, and just understand that change e equals uncomfort uncomfortableness sometimes. Like sometimes we are uncomfortable with change or shifting, but it is necessary for growth and development. So it's a beautiful thing. It's nothing to be afraid of. Embrace it and just you know go with the flow and see what happens. So with that, my love, this concludes your energy check-in reading. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. Anyone, if you're still watching, these readings are available. Um, the information is below in the description box, so go ahead and check it out. These readings are $40. They're on sale um, through the summer season. So if you want to book an energy check-in reading, please do so. And until then, I will talk to you guys later. Bye, my loves.